In this tutorial, we're going to be going over some extra features in SciChart.js, such as legends, cursors, and tooltips. We're going to start off with our boilerplate example, which is found in tutorial number one. Uh, so go over to our GitHub repository and grab tutorial number one and take a copy of it into a new folder, uh, calling it tutorial number seven. After that, you want to do npm install and npm start, and your starting point should look something like this. You should have a empty chart with an x and y axis and no series on it. What we're going to do next is we're going to add some series to this chart. So go ahead and create some series by creating some code like this. In this code, we create a for loop and we're looping five times to create five series. We create an XY data series, which contains your data, and notice that we set the data series name property on the series as well. We populate the data series with 10,000 data points, and we're using i or the index as the x value and a sign function as the y value. Next, we're creating a fast line renderable series, and the line series is the part that actually draws the data, and we're assigning the data series to it. Finally, we add the fast line renderable series to the SciChart surface renderable series collection. Don't forget your imports. You'll need to import XY data series and fast line data series from the following namespaces. Once you've done that, you should end up with something that looks like this. We've got our series on the chart and we've got five of them and there's varying opacity for them as we set that in our loop and slightly varying data for each one. The next step is to add a legend. Adding a legend in SciChart is very simple. It's basically one line of code, and we add something called the legend modifier. The legend modifier is part of the chart modifiers API, and we declare a new legend modifier and add it to the SciChart surface chart modifiers collection. Don't forget to add an import to legend modifier, which is found in SciChart charting chart modifiers legend modifier. Once you've done this, your application should now look like this. We've got the series on the chart, but we also have a legend in the top left. The legend by default displays checkboxes. These are bound to the visibility of each series. It displays a marker bound to the color or the stroke of each series. And it displays a series name, which is bound to XY data series data series name. These checkboxes are interactive, meaning that if you click them, you can show or hide uh, the series that are on the chart. And similarly, if you set the visibility of the series in code, it will update the checkbox on the legend. You can opt whether to show the checkboxes or not by using this flag, show checkboxes, true or false. The next thing we're going to do is add a cursor modifier or crosshairs to the chart. Start by importing a cursor modifier from SciChart charting chart modifiers cursor modifier. Next, you want to declare a new cursor modifier and add it to the SciChart surface chart modifiers collection. There's some properties here to configure the cursor modifier. For example, we have set show axis labels equal to true, and we've set the axis labels fill and stroke properties as well. There's some more configuration you can do with this modifier type that you can find in our documentation. Once you've added the cursor modifier to the chart, you should get this cursor behavior, which occurs and it moves wherever you move the mouse. Notice that there are X and Y labels displayed on the axis as well, and those reflect the value of the label at the axis at the point of the cursor. Another modifier you can add to the chart to display tooltips is the rollover modifier. So this one is similar to the cursor modifier, except that it displays a single vertical line and then tooltips where the line slices through the series. Go ahead and import rollover modifier from SciChart charting chart modifiers rollover modifier, and then declare one as follows. So you want to create a new rollover modifier and then add it to the SciChart surface chart modifiers collection. Once you've done this, your application should now behave like this. You've got your series on the chart and you have your legend, but as you mouse over, a single vertical line or called the rollover is displayed. There are points at where the line intersects a series, and these are called rollover markers. And there's a tooltip displayed next to each marker, saying what the series name is and its value. The rollover modifier can be configured, uh, and the tooltips can be styled however you wish. You can find out more about that in our documentation.
Further reading about the cursor modifier, rollover modifier, and legend modifier can be found in the SciChart JS documentation. You can find this by going to scichart.com forward slash JavaScript dash charts dash documentation. If you use this tree view on the left and select SciChartJS JavaScript 2D Charts API and expand the chart modifier selection, you can actually look at documentation about the cursor modifier and the rollover modifier, which talks through how you can adjust the appearance and behavior of these modifier types. Legend modifier documentation will be uploaded shortly to the same section under the chart modifier API.